Hey there everyone, this is Raylo. And Sashimi. And we've got the big brothers Axel and Stubby here to help us with the unboxing of yet another Mass Effect item. I know I said this one was coming next week or last week, but delays and shipments, you know, the whole transportation grid in crisis and all that. We now have the light up Omniblade replica from Mass Effect or Bioware Gear. This is something that they actually had, uh, they took votes on and, and went by pre-orders. They had to get like three or 4,000 pre-orders to actually get this to happen. It did happen. This is the second run. These came out before and sold out. And now the consumers have made it happen again. I missed out on the first run, but thankfully I was able to get in on this one. So. Let's see what it looks like. First off, we're gonna take a look at the box art. The box art's actually really nice. It's got like this nice uh, matte finish um, for the ba for the base, but the uh, the edging here is actually in chrome and kind of like raised up, so it's a little bit holographic. Looks really nice. I looks love like, the huh. Looks like decent thick cardboard too. Mhm, mm it is. Yuck. They do a good box. <laughs> yeah. Bioware gear does box so there is an overview of the Omni blade I love this whole orange against the black and the chrome very good box for just throwing up onto the shelf although what's especially because they put the feely stuff on it so it stays shiny yeah it's meant to kind of be a, a display case for it Pop it out and see what we got. There is the plastic coffin for it. I'm sure there is some vial tape holding it together. We've got instructions here. Looks like we're gonna need to grab some triple A batteries. Oh, no tape. Looks like they didn't do tape. Thanks, Bioware. All right. Looks like this is in one piece. One piece. So we've got our adjustable strap right here. So how do I get it? We've got some plastic here. Plastic. It does have a stand. breaking it. I'm going to see there's probably some kind of a release. Oh, no. It's just for changing. Okay, so the blade will... Oh. Oh, actually, that's quite nice. It has a really nice soft release on it. it. won't go... It doesn't move around too easily. It looks like, actually, if you were to try and like hit something with it, it's got kind of a breakaway mechanism, so it'll move back. So, there is the overall. We're going to have to throw some batteries in there in a second so you guys can see it all lit up. It is a one-to-one -one re wearable replica. I'm just gonna put one of these things in. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Not too difficult. And then watch it come undone. Looks like for best effect though, you're gonna wanna do it across the board though, because it feels pretty loose. Feels like it'll let me go in an instant. There we go, now I got all of them. 
Yeah, that feels much more secure. And the plastic is nice and thick. It looks like it's uh, like two, three millimeters thick. Feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. Like I'm actually putting pressure against it there at the wrist. And the only rattling that rattling is from, I think. Oh, it's from the switch. But yeah, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel cheap at all. That's the biggest thing I was worrying about that it was gonna feel like, you know, fake well, it was gonna feel like a like a dollar store toy or something. But no, not at all. It feels quite nice. Looks like that might lock it. Aha! Look at that, it does lock it. Mm -hmm. So that right there, you switch it out, and you can turn it back. Nice. And you can bring it back around, and lock it. You can lock it in multiple positions. Because I don't know if you guys remember, there was some, you could have like a, an assassin's position. I like the, the length on it is really nice. It's pretty much just like it is in the games. So now we need to get some batteries. It takes three AAAs. We're going to throw those in there and we'll be right back. Before we get to the lighting, we have to present it for. Oh, Tasting. that's. That's, eat it. that's immediate approval. You like it, buddy? What do you think about it with lights on? Ooh. <laughs> Seems he likes it. I don't think I don't think little kitty chew is gonna bother that plastic. It's nice and thick. So what do you guys think? This is the Omniblade lit up. We've got two LED strips right here. Looks like three light nodes a piece there. We've got one right here in the thumb guard. Another three nodes there. And we've got a strip of two going that way, right there. And then we've got a strip around the center circular point. I like it. It looks pretty. Let's turn the lights down low. Er, kind of. <laughs> I forgot we have our backlights behind us. But I like it, considering that I think these—I think this run was like 70. I'm not sure. They're not selling it on the store anymore. It was a limited run of like 3,000, I think, three or 4,000, whatever the pre-orders were. So unfortunately, I don't think you can order these anymore. Um, provided how fast this happened, it might actually come again. They might do it. So if you actually do, if you sign up for BioWare Gears newsletter. Um, that's how I found out about this, because I'm a Bioware, like anything Mass Effect, I'm just a fanatic for it, so I'm on all their mailing lists. But that's how I found out about this. Went in, it was kind of like a crowdfunding thing, as long as they got enough pre-orders, they went ahead with it. So if you guys are interested, I would suggest doing that. Last, but certainly not least, our stand. Comes with a stand to put it on. Mass Effect logo in the front. Handle fits nicely onto this in the back there. And then comes to rest at the end of the arm guard, right on top of the Mass Effect. See how it looks with the blade down. Blade comes down right in the middle, so it fits perfectly with the blade up or down. Depending on your storage needs, you may, you know, need to change it. If I want to put it on one of these shelves, which I might put on the bottom here, I might have to do the blade down bottom. But there you have it, guys. The Mass Effect 
Omniblade replica. One to one scale, wearable. You guys can expect to be seeing this in some future cosplays. Because you were interested in doing Femship, right? Sure. I'll go see why not. Maybe I'll even throw on a mask and be Man Ship. <laughs> what is he? What do they call him? Man Shepherd. The shepherd. Shepherd. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was enjoyable for you. And guys, like subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring home one, there are other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show it, plenty of ways to give it. And unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love, especially as we go into the winter months. There's going to be a lot of them that are going to be needing a lot more help because it's getting colder outside. So do what you can to show that love and speak in the love. We love you guys. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Steppy. Say bye-bye, buddy. Oh, Axel can say bye-bye. Bye, Axel.